Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Niamh here, and welcome to some more Dead in Winland, right? So yeah, this is where we left off last time. Seems like we are telling the doggy to come, and we're gonna turn it into the Carries doggy for three days, and it's gonna increase the scavenging, exploration, and hunting by 10, and also reduce the depression increases by 15. That's kind of important, because I want to use that bonus to go and explore the shipwreck, I believe. Okay, she's resting. She's almost dead. Okay. Uh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Big thanks to... Well, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to try my best. Jean de Chavet or something like that. <laughs> the dear viewer who's giving us commentary for this game and trying to help us out. So one of the things is we should check more often the natural resources. We can see here that our harvesting camps... Um, Harvesting camps, uh, uh, what is it called? Ooh, this is pretty bad actually. <laughs> okay, so the harvesting camps uh, efficiency is going down over time. And uh, yeah, the amount of fruit we harvest and the amount of fatigue uh, we get is like, uh, well, getting increased as a result. So you cannot really spam this thing that much. Uh, I'm spamming it because that's my main source of uh, food right now until we can make the fishing camp and start using it. So, yeah. But seeing as how practically horrible it is right now. Yikes. What is its state condition though? The condition is still excellent, but soon that's going to get broken as well. And yeah, the rest of the things. The game does warn you when something goes below uh, excellent. So I always notice that thing. However, this thing I didn't check in a while. So yeah, definitely feel like, okay, I'm going to send Lady Tomo to explore instead. I'm going to let the camp recover a little bit. And hopefully we can feed ourselves with fish. I will also send... Okay, so two of you are going to have some beers together. So hopefully we can recover Kari and give her a buff and then send her to shipwreck to do some good scavenging. That's the plan anyway. So in six days, we have to give eight water. Eight potable water to Aelof. Okay, let's do this thing also. Ooh, our wood's not the best. Maybe we should send her to gather wood instead i don't know i don't know we'll see what we do in the afternoon also jean told us that we should go for look for a fight additional chances to trigger an encounter based on hunting minus 66 per exploration speed yeah i don't i'm gonna focus on exploration for now this is the only thing where i'm gonna deviate a little bit supposedly fighting is really good way to get resources but that sounds super super cheesy actually uh so i'm gonna continue with my instinct even though i know it's probably wrong now with the new information i have but uh, I kind of consider it spoilery to just come and say, hey, Neo, you should just look for the fight. It's OP. Like, how would I know that, right? Well, you did tell it to me in the comments, but I'm going to ignore it for now. Anyway. Uh, right, we can level her up. Let's see. Bloodthirsty Stabber, Accuracy, Critical Health, Apprentice Crafter, Injury Gains, Forestry, Call of the Land. Okay, I'm delaying this one, I guess. Right. Let's see. XP increases by 0 0.9 each time a skill levels up. Baseline, 0 0.75. Traits, plus 20%. Cunning and Fate's Curse. Oh. Fate's Curse. Okay, this one levels quite fast, actually, because she's cunning. Okay. And then let's see Kyra. Yeah, Kyra 0.68. So, base is 0 0.75, it's reduced by 10% because of Apprentice Harvester. So, uh, you have to be careful, thank you for this information, that uh, when we... Uh, when we actually, like, take these Apprentice things, which increase experience from specialization, that it's gonna hurt your uh, growth in all other ways. But, uh, yeah. Let me see some skill here. Okay, if I put her, like, on harvesting, let me see the last thing. 
So I don't see like which stat. It shows stamina, right? Telling me that stamina is required. How about here? Stamina and depression. Okay. So when you hover over a place, it's gonna tell you what it's gonna affect. Interesting. Okay. But in any way, we're gonna live, live for here. And I think we are fine. I hope he can finish the Hishin camp soon. And then I'll probably gonna try and get the pot. Uh, okay. 28. Yeah, she's really tired. This is all for, this is mostly from the harvesting, spamming harvesting, right? Yes, nice. So fishing camp is completed. Enables fishing activity for a character. Enables crafting fishing bait. So now we'll be able to fish. So we can do a little bit of... Yeah, we can like go a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, he's pretty strong. Seems like. Come on, I need a good a roll. 49, 36. Ugh. Excited. Okay, she got drunk. Let me check real fast what drunkness does. Come. Yeah, these are full because of rain. So while rain increases depression, at least... <coughs> carries doggy for three days. Nice. And how good of an explorer is she, really? That seems decent enough. But I'll probably send her to woodshop now, though. Uh, okay, now we can fish. Where do we fish, though? There? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I accidentally saw it. Otherwise, it would probably take a little bit before for me to notice it. Yeah, okay. Fishing camp. Make fish bait. So we can make fish bait out of rotten food. Okay. So who is our best fisherman? 29, 56. Let's see, crafting. 17. Ugh. So thing is, if I put him on fishing, which I probably should, traits, potential heal hero, Okay, excited. Okay, forestry. Mm. He should probably be doing forestry. Whenever he can. 3 to 6 food. Oh, how about fishing? Plus 2 to 10 raw fish. Minus 3 fish bait. How about you? Oh, that's really bad. That doesn't work. Yeah, this is way harder than anyone else's. But like... Yeah, so this is my solution for tonight. For food, maybe. Although I was also thinking of putting her down here. Item scavenge times one, two, two, three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, she's still in a pretty bad shape. Okay, she's in a good shape though. Let's see. If you can go choose a crafting plan. So what do we craft next? So we're gonna need a herbalist. Uh, if you know what you're looking for, you can find a lot of plants that can be used on this island. Healing plants, hemp, vegetable, seeds. So we need hemp to make ropes, but we also need ropes to make a herbalist. And that's kind of a problem, actually. That's really bad. <laughs> that's like super bad. And we also need a... We also need a forge. 
Oof. Oof, 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 oof. So where can we find some ropes if we are out of ropes? And that's a good question. Oh, we can send Doggy to find us some. This is pretty random though. Uh, bad luck. Yeah, I think we might find some in the in the ship though, right? Hmm. Last time he found some crappy meal, I was not very happy because of it, but... Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna try to find some ropes so we can make a herbalist camp. In the meantime... In the meantime, what I would like to do is... I could start working on a forge, because we're gonna need this thing anyway. To craft this will take a while to make we'll need some more wood and stone to actually do it so let's see i can put you on mining one to three stone it's not the best we can also put you where we can't craft right now i could have two of you like just socialize a little bit but maybe not with beer mm. So he's fishing, that's good. One to three stone. I mean, I definitely need stone, but that means, what does she do? She can do another round of rest because she is super tired. Yeah, I could go with this, I guess. It's gonna be a little bit hard for a little bit while. It's, it is what it is. She's a decent forager, though. Okay. Oh, she hates mining, though. Like, I would like to put her here, but, like, considering how bad of a state things are, I really don't want it. Like, there is another thing I could do. I could upgrade my workshop, I guess. Uh... We should take some time to think about how we could improve our camp. I'm sure we can find new techniques that will make our life better. Unlock tier 1 upgrades. Oh, but I need to find the ancient knowledge. Okay, well. Happy times. You also find 3 to 6 wood. Everyone finds 3 to 6 wood. Did you find a new location, though? Oh, yeah, I remember the chest thing. You pull the coffer short to examine it. Small runes are carved on the bottom of the chest. It says bury me. Requirements. Hidden condition met. Should we bury it? That seems crazy, but let's do it. You feel that you should bury it somewhere near. And you know exactly the spot, as if the chest was guiding your hand. You dig the dirt with your bare hands for hours and finally hide the chest. If you haven't gone completely crazy, you know that you will be rewarded someday. You hope. Okay, that seems like a crazy fool's around. I guess Loki interfered or something. I don't know. Why did I just do that? I must be crazy, but okay. Um, so that's the camp, right? Yeah, okay. Um... So this is some wheat, right? So we can gather some wheat here if we want to. Um, so she has decent constitution and harvesting. So from wheat we can make beer. You search for the best looking sprouts to bring them back to camp. You grab a fistful of wheat and carefully cut the wheat at the ground. Once you have enough, you tie the bundles into sheaves. And how many did we get? It wasn't even that hard. Five, okay. And five seeds. Okay, these seeds we can use to plant our own wheat later on. So, why did we do that? Well, because we're gonna go and brew some beer. Oh, it's actually brewed from non-potable water. Okay, because this fills up, right? Because it's raining, so now it's a good time to make some beer. 
I'm wondering if I should just do that once more. Forestry. Well, there is something about increasing her forestry and sending her there, but... Uh, apprentice crafter. Crafting is pretty low on her. But it's tempting because we're gonna be crafting a lot and he seems to be like he's gonna be fishing, so... Uh, this game full of hard decisions. Hopefully Doggy can find some. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's a lot of wood, so that's good. Oh, five, four ropes. That's really nice. We got a lot of crappy meals, though. Yeah, so we're out of food on the ship. But we did find some useful stuff there. That's true. Okay, she's almost rested. What did you find, doggy? What did you find? Fabric, okay. Eight raw fish, okay, we're not gonna be hungry. He's a little bit depressed, so he will need some time to like... Relax. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, what did you find? Are we gonna get into the fight? We'll see her fighting if that happens. New area discovered. Meadows, let's go. Fatigue, okay. Encounter, okay. Now we see how good she is. Now, I don't know who to take. Uh, let's take her and let's take Moira again. She seems to have decent health. Two initiative, six action points. What are you? You're a warrior. So you're like him, actually, yeah? So let's see, what do we fight here? Oh, there's three enemies. So this will be way more deadly than usual. So this is why I'm not looking for a fight, dude. Like... Okay. So, plunderers, archer and plunderers, right. So it would be good to take care of the archer probably, right? Um, okay, damage 2 to 5, effects 1 turn, AP minus 1 on the target. So we got 6 action points, so we can do something like this. This one has very low accuracy, 60%. Like, why is she so inaccurate all of a sudden? Hmm. I think she has, like, a debuff or something, I guess. Any ally in any row. I mean, this always hits, though. So that's good. So I'm thinking we give her like the shield thing because she's already wounded. And I'm gonna try to go for the archer. Our is a little bit low, but hey. Maybe we get lucky with RNG. Okay. Well, I'd say that's all right. One hit of the two. Could have been worse, I guess. Uncanny Litany. Target all enemies in all rows. Accuracy 90%, damage 1 to 2. Minimum damage minus 1, max damage minus 1, effects resistance. Okay. Surprising blow. I am thinking about doing the ancient curse and maybe then try to hit it twice. I don't know. Let's do the ancient curse on these three. There's their APs. That's probably a good idea. One of them resisted. Melee row, move to back self. Okay. 
Okay, let's do this. Oh, hello. Random enemy in the melee row. Okay, I'm not super happy about that, but okay. Okay, did hit the archer. Good. I'm gonna end the turn here. So we get more points next time. And now we should kill the archer if we can. Bull charge, war cry, melee strike, berserker attack, wild swing. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we have four more points. Wild swing, attack 65, four, 2 to 4. All enemies, oh, it's all enemies in the melee row. Okay, this would have been good, I guess, but let's continue focusing them down. Melee strike, berserk attack. Okay, I don't want to get like minus resistance. Warcry, accuracy. Okay, let's do the work right. Okay. And let's start hitting these. Okay. Okay, so now we have some shields here, so... We can scuff off some damage. Uh, right, so this one has three action points, this one only had two. Okay, let's try to... Remove one action point from this one. Okay, we missed though. That's bad. Okay, the debut of landed anyway. So this also has only two. Right. I wonder if we can like stack it. Let's see. No, nothing happened. Okay. He's like extra. Well, at least he missed. Moira. I'm gonna do Ancient Curse again. There we go. And we have five left. Let's see, what is this? Random enemy in the melee row. Two to three damage. And then prayer to the gods. Okay, let's pray to the gods. Hopefully we get, don't get the axe in our face, though. <laughs> okay, and the turn. The Moa, ninety percent accuracy. So we should like be pretty precise here. There we go, nice. Okay, next turn. He's going first. That's bad. Please don't axe throw her. Good. Okay. We might end up just taking two damage here, so it wasn't as bad as I was worried it might be. What's the chance of that? 65%? There we go, I quit. Okay. And like slashy slashy, there we go, good. Okay, hopefully we find something good from this victory. Some ropes would be good. Let's see what the Moira gets. Seven wounded and pierced eardrum. Hunting and accuracy reduced. Oh, we got a lot of stuff, dude. So we got three wood, we got one wheat, we got a whole bunch of crappy meals. We got one arrow and we got one. Okay, I can see why people like fighting in this game. I can see it, I can see it. Okay. Right. So we got lots of fish. Okay, you go back to crafting. However, oh yeah, we don't have this thing. How do we get ancient knowledge? That's a good question. What else can we work on here? Not the cooking pot. Okay, we could make the herbalist if we had the stone. So we'll definitely start working on that. Also forge. Also needs stone. Definitely not gonna make healing ten tanks. We need the ropes for the herbalist. I think I was pretty lucky to find some of those anyway. Alright. I guess there's nothing to craft right now. Oh yeah, we need to end the day anyway. It's like evening, so. Okay, doggy. You're doing fine, little doggy. You're doing just fine. 
Okay, we found a new location though, so let's check it out. So we found this thing. Oh, mysterious grave. This looks like ancient knowledge, dude. Inspect. You see a large structure of piled stones. Some are carved with glowing runes. Some bones are piled in front of the main structure covered in chains. There is no doubt for you that the whole thing serves as a funeral purpose. Look for clues. Okay. I'm gonna send her. Because she has the highest wisdom stat. Closely inspect the tomb looking for clues on who it might belong to. Examine the runes. Okay, it's not a huge chance, but... We succeeded. Nice. From the look of it, the tomb belongs to a mystic or a priest serving one of the Norse gods. Pray. You kneel and close your eyes. You pray to the god the deceased used to serve. You feel some kind of connection for a moment, but it soon fades. Okay. You close your eyes and take some time to reflect on the frailty of life. As you open them, you notice a strange glowing crystal hidden behind some rocks. You take it. Fire crystal. Well, that is not what we were looking for. Take the bones. Who will perf perform the action? Ooh, it seems like it's a problematic action. You don't see these bones as remnants of human beings, but as tools in this new world. So you take them back to the camp without regrets. Right? Depression? Grave digger. Okay. What's that? Drunk. Minus 50% of depression increases, plus 25% of fatigue increases, and some sickness. Okay, grave digger. Scavenging plus 5. Well, I wish somebody else got that, but okay. Um, and I guess nothing else to do but to open the grave. <laughs> Agility and crafting. No, that's interesting. She's very agile, but has very low crafting. Let's go with the highest crafting person here. Probably gonna get hurt because of low agility. Desecrate the grave. You move the heavy rocks bearing the entrance and find in the middle of the structure the remnants of a person huddled up, protecting something in his bony arms. The skeleton holds a clay urn closed with rectangular tablets covered in runes. You don't often see people choosing to be buried alive to follow a loved one. They usually choose the pyre. All right. Close the tomb or take the tablets. Okay, this was bad. Yeah. You barely touch the skeleton when it collapses, rusty jewels crack, bones shatter and turn to dust. The ring tablets fall on the ground and crack. You see the pieces glow for instance, then it fades. Looks like the grave was so old it couldn't withstand your touch. You take some stones back to camp. As you leave the area, you feel a grand fatigue and uneasiness inside your stomach, but you can't tell what it is. Well, three stones is not bad, though. We got cursed, okay. Okay, that's not good. Okay. But we are exploring. I have no idea. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't go there if I knew what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, time to end the day, I guess. Although, we can brew one more beer here. And we are out of leather bottles. Not sure where we're gonna get some more, but we brew as much as we could. Okay, I'm gonna end the day here, uh, maybe... Like, do I really wanna go and search for some more stuff? I mean, I could. That's okay, rest for now, doggy, rest for now. That fishing pole will come in handy. I don't know if there are any good fish spots here, but it's worth a try. We're all children of the sea. The anger of New York is terrible, but he provides for us. Kind of a love-hate relationship. You'll come with me, right, Kari? Uh, yes, Dad. Right, nice. 
I hate fishing. So lame. You just wait and do nothing. Ugh. <laughs> You'll need fish bait, though. Oh, I forgot to craft fish bait. Yes, don't forget. Don't throw away any food that has rotten, even if it smells very bad. You can use that as bait for fish. The stinkier, the better. I forgot to craft fish bait. Oh, did. Here, take this. I made a few these past few days. It's a start. Okay. Builder comes, 7 out of 14. Hmm. Ha! Huh. What is he doing? Okay, one more. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. He's chopping wood, apparently. <sighs> I can't stop. They need me. Ha! Huh. Dude, don't kill yourself. Panting heavily. Thor, give me strength. Ha! 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 Eric strikes his axe once more before falling heavily on the ground. Shit, I'm bleeding. Okay, I'll thank you for sacrificing yourself. You barely stayed alive, dude. Okay, the rain causes depression. We got some beer though, so we can solve that more or less. Okay, hunger goes up. Everyone's dehydrated, that's all right. If there's anything we have plenty of, that's water, so. Yeah, well. Once uh, the rain stops falling, the depression is going to be less of a problem, but uh, we'll need more. Um... Right. Crap meal. Oh, okay, I don't think I'm going to eat crap meal. I'm going to let this rot. Right. I mean, this is the best we have. This, this is the best we have. This is what it is. There. Zero to three sickness. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're fine with fish for now. We're gonna need, like, cooking pots soon also, but... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Also, we didn't harvest fruit today. We can definitely do that tomorrow, so... Okay. Lucky. Excited. Removed. Head injury removed. That's good. Nauseous. Yeah, she was drunk, so. Angry removed. Okay. Night effects. Okay. Fatigue got reduced. That's good. Doggy got some energy. Fire lost some wood. Okay. Okay. We got some rotten food. That's okay gonna make baits out of that so that's all right all right rainy okay the pressure decreases okay it's not stormy i guess rainy is better than stormy <laughs> we have so much wood now thanks to his chopping during the night okay yeah i think they need to go and have some beers together they're really depressed so is she actually okay let's see in what kind of state this thing is now 85 right fatigue increases plus 29 percent yeah that's that's a bit scary yeah. 5 to 20 change per use 15 to 7 so on average 11 and this one on average 12 13 Urge provides enough to satisfy every man. Fishing camp. So we can definitely go fish some more and we'll probably do it, but in the afternoon. Okay, let's check out the workshop. What can we craft? Okay, we can start crafting the herbalist. And we probably should. Okay. How good are you at crafting? 
54%. I mean, it's not ideal, but... Like, he's 82, but... He kind of needs to relax. Let me check the items also. Okay, wood we have plenty of. We also find some stones, so... Like, do we need to go and take a break, though? No, kind of. Maybe. Lady Tomo, what can you do? You can also go and relax. Kari could go explore. And let me see. Yeah, she can go and drink some beer with him. And then in the afternoon, maybe we could put Kari there. I don't know. How hard is it to make a cooking pot though? Let's see. Yeah, that's still five stones. Takes a while to build as well. Also gonna need this thing to make some ropes. So herbalist forge, then maybe cooking pot and healing tent. <sighs> yeah. So hopefully we don't like I mean we are sick and wounded and stuff, but it will go away once we build a healing tent. Well, Okay, I'm gonna leave it here for now. So definitely th th I have three characters which are really depressed. And like, I would put him to work there, but like, he's also tired, so. Let's check the items. Maybe we have something we can help with. I should probably use these items, right? Has a chance to remove a random disease right, trait. No sure. Healing, cooking, fishing, best handling. Plus one to three sickness each time. Night. Okay, let's try removing this thing. There we go. And this thing. Minus 15% to hunger increases. I guess that's alright, actually. 10% chance to generate vomiting each night. 10% chance to be healed by using an item or the medical tent. Okay. Beer. Yeah, 25% chance minus 20 depression and drunk. So definitely better to use this thing. Okay, minus 5 fatigue, minus 10 sickness, minus 5 injury. Minus 10 sickness, minus 5 hunger. Minus 10 fatigue, plus 5 hunger. Okay, this one's interesting. If you give this to him... Now he can like, he can de depress and then he can work. Yeah, I think that's good. You should be using these items, I think, to like get ahead of the game. Now injury, five injury is not a lot. If somebody gets super injured, maybe we can save it with that. Same with this thing. In there. Yeah, let's get him in a good shape. Right, so he removes depression and then goes to work on the herbalist, I guess. I could also maybe... But depression is probably pretty bad for crafting, right? No. Crafting... Just fatigue and hunger. So he could do this, actually. Yeah, let's get some head on on this herbalist. I think that's kind of important. Yeah, she's like... Let's have her drink, I guess. She can explore, although I'm a little bit worried about exploring that much, but hey. And what is Lodobet doing? Okay, she's resting. She's not that tired, though. <laughs> 
Yeah, she's really bad for sure. Yeah, I don't wanna like it's so bad, like use so much bait also. Like I would like to put her here. But like it's not a good idea. Yeah, I really don't have anything. Oh, 66%. That's actually not too bad. One to seven, four to seven. She doesn't like, like we need something for her. How tired is she? Not super tired. I mean, we can help her with her depression if we send the doggy. Oh, he gets some love by doing that. So maybe we could go and train. How much love do we need for it? What is this? The energy gain for direct action screens by one. Okay. This might be doable, actually. Like, we play with her. Oh, wait. It leaks the wounds of the most wounded person. Huh. That's a lot of energy though. Oh! The person who has the most depression plays with it. Interesting. get 8 to 12 and then we can increase some more here and we could actually train it here I guess okay the the injury loss okay the traits gain with the, I think this is really good though so each time it rests it gets one more so that will really add up the faction lost overnight is decreased by one so how much it loses Minus 10 to minus 5. Yeah, it's really hard to keep the affection up. Unless you feed it, right? So I'm feeling like if I do this... Oh, Tomo, Tomo. You're super depressed. Okay, so you drink now and then in the evening she drinks, I guess? That means she could go and scavenge. We can send her to like drink now and then the, in the evening he drinks. Okay, that also works. And then what does she do now then, though? Yeah, that's the question, right? We never found a good work for her. I guess 3 to 6 wood is not too bad. Okay. And then in the evening, Lady Tomo is gonna go and... and drink some beers. Okay. Well, that's the setup. But I'm really gonna make the cut here, so we're gonna continue on from here. So yeah, I wanna grab the Herbalist so we can get hemp for ropes, and then we wanna grab the, the workshop so we can actually craft it once we have the herbalist we're gonna have some extractions we can do while this thing is recovering and stuff yeah i don't know i hope that well actually are we gonna send him fishing yeah that's a good question is it because it's depressing oh this is so bad yeah we need to send him fishing which means How good are you at crafting curry? 48 and she... Okay. Ugh, hard decisions, hard decisions. So we do this now. Okay, we reduce his depression and then he goes fishing. Kari comes here and drinks with Tomo. They talk about exploration. She can craft. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a harsh start for this game. But I'm pretty sure we can get to the point like we were in that in Bermuda where it became super easy. So yeah, fingers crossed we get there. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you for watching. And see you on the next episode of Dead in Winland. The Nimer signing out.